All right, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. What a beautiful night. Yeah. <laughs> really excited to have um, this group here. I, I'm not sure exactly how this all came about, but uh, I don't know. There's a lot of mutual friends involved, I have a feeling. And uh, in fact, uh, you were just with uh, Aoife the other day. So uh, maybe join, are you joining back up with her? Yeah. He, he, yeah. So. It's, uh, it's a small world here, um, but uh, it all comes together here in Cambridge, apparently. So <laughs> thanks. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you, everyone, for coming. I, I think most of you have been here before, but if you haven't, um, just a few things here real quick. At the end of this table is a jar that says donations. If you didn't pay in advance uh, or drop some money in there, please do, because that's how uh, these guys get paid. And uh, I like when they get paid because that makes them happy. So I like when they're happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then over there, there's a tent. Under that tent is a bunch of food. Um, please eat that. Uh, I don't think anyone wants to take home half-eaten dishes. So, um, I'm, yeah, that would be good as well. There is some popcorn up here. And then the bathroom is the second door on the left through the screened-in porch there. Um, our next concert is Sunday Cicada Rhythm. It's uh, a folk group. It's uh, their group that I've been kind of looking forward to for a long time. Finally made that happen. And then after that, we've got on Tuesday, Scary Vore at Wiley Park in Galva. And then on Thursday, Hermitage Green here at the house. If you have not seen either of those groups, I, I highly recommend you go to YouTube and check them out. They are absolutely awesome. And, uh, and if you want to come to the, the Hermitage Green show, please let me know. That's a private show. Um, but you guys are all friends, so, um, uh, you know, that's how that works. <laughs> um, what else? I see my family just got home. I know that uh, the kids were hoping to play a tune or two to, to start out the night, but I don't know if they're ready. They're, they're just coming home. So I think we'll, uh, what's that? Second, yeah, okay. The, the, all right, uh, they're, 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 we'll do it in the intermission. We'll do two, two, uh, two sets, and maybe they'll start the second half. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stop talking and uh, let these guys and gals get up here. And uh, yeah, thanks again for coming, guys. You look as relaxed as we are. <laughs> this is an incredible setting. We feel like we're properly in America, driving through the cornfields and oh, soy as well. We've been learning, learning loads today. So we'll start off with a few jigs.
you so much. We are roasting hot already. <laughs> We've just come from Ireland a couple of days ago, so we're not fully climatized yet. The instruments might not be fully climatized as well, so you might need to bear with us. We've had a couple of broken strings already this tour, um, and we've even had broken toilets on the aeroplane. That was fun, emergency landing. Uh, diverted into Boston instead of landing in Chicago. But there is a, a well, that we had a huge, um, a huge milestone in Marty's life, his first trip to Boston, where he came off the plane, had a quick pee and came back on again. <laughs> Sure, why would you want to be in Boston when you can be here in the sunshine amongst the corn and the soy and all you guys? So um, those are a few jigs and these are traditional types of tunes from Ireland. So we play this sort of music in our local pub. It's how we all socialise um, so you can tell we enjoy ourselves when we're playing this music. So hope you enjoy it too.
Thanks very much. You're very kind. How are we all feeling? All good? Oh, us too. We're excellent too. Um, yeah, having a great time so far. So, But we're a little warm already. That's not a good sign. <laughs> so we're going to slow things down just a little bit, just for a little five minutes or less, uh, and try a song. And we're going to pick on Cahill to help us out with this one here. And it's a song that we learned from our, our great uncle. Um, he was great, but he was also our great uncle. Um, so uh, our family were all... <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> uh, our family, we're all from a place called Donegal, which is in the very, very northwest of Ireland. Cahill's from Donegal as well. Um, but a long time ago, there was no work, no work for people there. So they all had to move to find work elsewhere. Uh, some came here, um, and but more went to Scotland because there was a boat that went all the way in to Glasgow city centre. So a lot of people moved to Glasgow, which created this massive community of Irish people in Glasgow, but particularly Donegal people, and our own family were part of that. So um, they worked in Glasgow, and they went up to the highlands in Scotland and out to the islands as well, and uh, they picked up songs and tunes and that kind of thing, and they brought them back to Donegal. So this lovely movement of tunes and songs that went between Donegal and, and Scotland. So um, this is one of those ones that uh, our great uncle learned over in the islands in Scotland. And it's called the Blue Hills of Antrim. And the Antrim is uh, the, in the north of Ireland, where Marty's from. We don't normally give Marty's place a good shout out, but there we go. There we go. He's been waiting for this for days. <laughs> He's not from Antrim at all. No. He's from Down. <laughs> but it's close enough. He'll take it. He'll take it. <laughs> i 
thank you very much. Thank you. Um, those were a few tunes. Um, the first one came from our local area. Um, we're very lucky where we live. Um, it's surrounded by music. Has anyone heard of the artist Enya? Yeah, she's from our street. Yeah. And her family play in a band called Clanet as well. You might have heard of them. Um, so they, we're very lucky. What was the statue you had the last day, Carl? How many CDs? 100 million. We are like the population is not a hundred million. <laughs> it's a lot smaller. We're about twenty of those. <laughs> not twenty million. Just twenty. We <laughs> We brought She's CDs. Very good, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go on to uh, another song now. And this song we're going to pick on Anna. For those that haven't noticed, Anna and I are twins. So she is the oldest on stage by 10 full minutes. 10 minutes. I'm 10 minutes wiser purely because I don't play the pipes. <laughs> she definitely agrees with me this tour with the heat. <laughs> I'll maybe explain a little bit about this instrument later, but they hate the heat. But they seem to like this area. They seem to like you guys, so they're holding up so far. Um, but we're going to do a song now that's all about the path of emigration again to Scotland from Ireland. Um, so it's talking about a man who moves to Glasgow. Has anyone been to Scotland before? Oh, cool. Has anyone been to Ireland? Yeah. yeah. Has anyone been to Glasgow? Or did... Brilliant. Everybody goes to Edinburgh, so thank you for taking the time. <laughs> You're supposed to say it's the best city in Scotland. <laughs> Oh, it's worth more than that now. <laughs> Glasgow can be lovely. And sometimes it doesn't have a great reputation, but we think it's great. And um, normally there's a lot of songs, if you follow folk music, you'll hear lots of songs that mention the Clyde, which is the boat, um, where the boats come in. It's a river in Glasgow, and that's the same river Claire was talking about. But this song is slightly different because it mentions um, a different river in the West End. So it's Kelvin, the River Kelvin. And um, it's called Kelvin's Purling Streams, which I really struggle to say, but for some reason I can sing it. So, But I'd rather it that way around than the other way around. <laughs> so we'll try this one. Thank you. 
until it's late I came Where all alone I made my moon To get a golden spurling stream Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Um, so we're very happy to be joined by our two lovely friends here, very talented and also actually very funny, Marty Barry. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually very funny, surprisingly. <laughs> surprisingly funny, and the lovely and gorgeous, as you can all see, Cahal O'Curran. So we've known Cahal since he was tiny, since he was really young. Um, Anne and I are twins. Claire is our youngest sister. So Claire is three years younger, but she's definitely the boss. No, no, you wouldn't believe that. No, 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 you wouldn't believe that. Um, so because we've known Cahal for so long, we kind of feel like his big sisters in a way. We've, uh, we remember him singing with one of our mics when he was about that size. We had to put it all the way down. We, we still do, yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit, though. Uh, <laughs> he hasn't his heels on. <laughs> uh, so we're going to pick on Cahill and kind of show him off here and make him play a tin whistle. Because Cahill's, he's he's currently playing a bazooki. The bazooki. Yes, Cahill, do you want to say anything about the bazooki? No. No? <laughs> okay. That's how much he loves his instrument. No, the bazooki is a, a Greek instrument that made its way into the, uh, Marty says it's a mandolin on steroids. He's not wrong. Um, but it made its way into the Irish music, Irish tradition um, in the, the 70s and the folk revival. And it's a gorgeous instrument. And Cahill plays it very, very well. Um, yeah. But we're going to take him off that for just one tune out of three and make him play a tin whistle just to show him off a little bit. Yeah, he's not doing enough. This is where we said all the instruments are still on uh, Irish time. They're all going really, really sharp for the musicians in the audience. So don't judge too harshly. So normally um, a lot of families or a lot of schools will teach Tim Whistle um, in Ireland. So everyone is kind of exposed to the Tim Whistle, which is great. Um, you kind of keep it in a drawer, you know, that drawer everyone has in the house with the super glue and the you've always got whistles lying around. So um, luckily I found a few, so I actually brought some with me. We're going to make Cahill play the whistle with us. So th was this the first one you learned? Whistle? Instrument you learned? Oh, yeah, yeah, we all learned whistle first, so we're going back to the basics. It's a shame we don't have a mic for Cahill here. You can share <laughs> one with Anna there. This nice first, this first <laughs> tune has a lovely name. No. It's called <laughs> John. You're nearly too kind. <laughs> the first tune is called Contentment is Wealth. So I think that's a lovely name. So we'll we'll give this set a try.
instruments we learned. We're going to try the first song we ever learned. So mum uh, taught this song to us, but she would have heard it from a great um, folk act in Ireland back in the 70s. So one of our first and favourite songs, it's called P Stands for Paddy. So we'll give this one a wee shot. It has a chorus. If you want to sing along, feel free. You'll pick it up fairly quickly. <laughs> but it's P Stands for Paddy, I suppose. J is for my love, John, Marty, yeah. And that, we should sing that for John. For John, yeah, there you go. The W stands for false Willio, but Johnny is the fairest man. So there you go, that's the chorus. A John appreciation song. <laughs> and it just so happens our dad is called John too, so. <laughs> Bye. 
million. So for the first time this tour, Claire has written down a set list. So <laughs> it's only taken us like five, four days. <laughs> I like to keep things interesting. <laughs> nice and organic. Just turn around and say, uh, this one now. Yeah. No, we have a set list. Yeah, but you've already changed like three orders of stuff in the <laughs> set list. So no <laughs> one knew that though. <laughs> no one knew that. I actually am wearing contact lenses for a change and I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, only Marty me and Marty know now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the set list is telling me that we're going to take a little break after this. Okay. So, um, I'm not sure how long, but I know there's some lovely food around there in the tent. There's a toilet just in here. This is my first time here. I actually <laughs> can just take a yeah. There's popcorn. <laughs> I, I see there's popcorn. This is great. What else? <laughs> there's Actually, <laughs> Cahill, if you take the bazooki off a second there. This is our model. <laughs> Cahill the model. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't he gorgeous? He has a... a you too could look as good as him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, but you could. <laughs> yes, so that's our... We've got some t-shirts for this tour. Yeah, and a few CDs. And who knows what else. I don't even know what else is on that table there, but there might be a few things. So feel free to come up and have a wee look. Um... But we're going to finish off with a few tunes for just now and then just have a wee break and then we'll come back again. So um, we're going to start... Set list over here. Um, yes, we're going to start with... Um, it's called a mazurka, but I think it's a hopjick. Um, not that that matters. It's called Miss Johnson's. And then we're going to go into three reels, three very common reels from Ireland. So we'll give these a wee try. And I hope you stay for the second half. We will. Um, so we hope you do too. <laughs> so thanks very much for listening to us for now. Well, some more in the second half as well. So... Give these a wee, a wee try. Alexia. We'll play these tunes for Alexia, who is going to dance for us. <laughs> <laughs>
fantastic dancers. Big round of applause there. Fantastic. We'll see you in 15 minutes or so.
What are you gonna play? You want the USA? You wanna say it? All right, guys, welcome back. We uh, have Miles out here, and he is going to play Garrett Berry's Jig, a tune that he's been working on on the uh, tin whistle here. All right. do we follow that? <laughs> That's got to be one of the highlights of our trip so far. Definitely. Finding out we have Ellen Pipers here. We thought we were so far away from home. <laughs> Talking about the cornfields and everything. And then we're like, I feel like we're back in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> so that was brilliant. Garrett Barry's jig is one of my favourite jigs. Me too. So happy to hear that. So well done, well Miles. Done, Miles. I have to say, Cahill just received a nickname at the break, but I think Miles just stole it off you. He was called Little Cutie. <laughs> but we may keep that, we'll see. <laughs> Now I know there's a pipe maker in the audience, I'm actually going to tune <laughs> way more. <laughs> the pressure is on. So the first tune, or well, one of the first tunes we're going to play this set is My Love is in America. America, sorry. <laughs> so we'll play this one for Marty because he had a brilliant, brilliant night last night and he may have met his love, but she's American. So <laughs> That's news to me now, so <laughs> Yeah, don't trust the angel face. <laughs>
the swing of things. Um, we might try a, a song now. And this song um, we heard um, from the great singer Dolores Keane. Some of you may be familiar um, with De Danon, who were a big band in Ireland in the 70s and the 80s. Um, so we learned this song from a recording of her and her two great aunts. Um, but we know that our great uncle used to sing this song as well. So we really like... Um, we really like to sing stuff that is in our family because it just feels that wee bit closer to home. So this one is called... Oh, there we are. Claire says it's a County Down song, which is where Marty Barry is from. Up down. Up, down. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the, the Murloc Shores. Said I loved another. 
Thank you very much. Um, I met a couple of people on the break who were asking what the Ellen Pipes are. And I know we have very, very educated piping audience here in some corners uh, of the lawn, but not quite everyone. So I'll give you a quick rundown of what the instrument is. They're called the Ellen Pipes. So Ellen is the Irish word, is the Gaelic word for elbow. So the name comes from how they're played by the elbows. So we have the bellows here and these bellows are strapped around my waist and they're bringing the air into the instrument unlike the highland pipes or other type um, of pipes you'll find in Europe. Nearly every country in Europe actually has a type of traditional bagpipe. They're just not as common. I was about to say they're not as nice, but <laughs> sure you know yourself. <laughs> so just like the highland pipes, Scottish pipes, we have three drones, but these drones sit across our lap instead of on our shoulder. The reason they sit across our lap is so I can hit these buttons. So these buttons are called the regulators, and they're just like a chordal system, like chords um, that you play with the corner of your wrist. And then we have the main event, the chanter. So this is where the tune comes from. And um, this is basically where I'm playing most of the music and everything else accompanies what I do on the chanter. So if everything's in tune, and if the conditions are correct, I should have seven different reeds playing uh, in tune with each other at the same time, if I strike a full chord. So I'll let you hear, this is the chanter. So you've been listening to that all night, you'll be sick of that. And then we have the drones. And then we have the regulators. So you play them with here. Now they're not perfectly in tune. So I call that regulator roulette when I press one and I don't know if it's going to be in tune or not. So we'll maybe try a few tunes now and you can hear the pipes and all of their slightly out of tune glory. I think you'll all be experts after that. So 
There'll be a wee pop quiz at the bottom of the, the lane afterwards. Some of them are experts already. <laughs> last tune was called Kissing and Drinking. And again, I'd like to dedicate it to Mr. Martin Barry over there. <laughs> For no particular reason. He was going to tell his mum about this live stream. <laughs> no reason, just... 
It's so. going to be such a long car journey to Chicago tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's already long enough for the two boys traveling with three sisters. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> so we're going to try um, a song called My Darling, My Darling, My Love. A star, a star, So this... Oh, there's a firefly. Oh. It just lit up. Sorry, we're not used to that at all. I, I remember the first time I saw one of them in the Catskills at the great uh, Irish Arts Week there. And um, they all laughed at me, but I still am as amazed now when I see one as the first time I saw them then. Um, so this song is, um, we learned from our grandmother, from our granny. And we got an awful lot of songs from her. And she was a very strong, powerful woman who um, was really good fun, or as we would say, good crack. So she, um, she taught us a song and she learned it at school when she was a little girl. So it's all about, um, it's just a fun song. People helping each other in their gardens and having parties and playing fiddles in their garden, which is exactly what we're doing just now. So um, we'll sing this for all of you for being such a great community. This is very special. You don't get this in most corners of the globe at all where you can have such a great turnout in someone's garden like this just to listen to live music. It means the world of us to be out on the road again after the past couple of years. So it's even more special to come here now and join you all for the evening. So this is Asar Sargre. <laughs> I'd like to say a special thanks to all of you for being so welcoming, but even Kennedy the cat brought us a present right before we started. So yeah, the girl, he brought us a bird. We're, uh, the three of us are brought up vegetarian as well, so uh, he was kind of him, but uh, we'll he pass. meant well. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks very much. How are we all doing? Everyone good? Excellent. That's what we like to hear. I'm going to swap back now and we're going to play some reels for you. And the first reel is a tune that myself and Sheila here wrote a few years ago. The majority of the tunes that we play are all traditional tunes and the really good ones are from Donegal. <laughs> Just the good ones. Um, no, I'm, I'm only joking. I like to claim things as Donegal. <laughs> um, yes, so a lot of our tunes are Donegal. A lot of them are very common Irish tunes. Um, but this one is one that myself and Sheila wrote. And we just called it after our area in Donegal, um, where you kind of look around and there's so much music that has come from a very, very small area, like Cahill was saying earlier on. Um, so it's a very special place and there's music everywhere so we just named it after that and we called it It's In The Wind and then we're going to go into a very very common Irish reel called The Laurel Tree and then finish off with Repeal The Union so we'll give these a wee try
we're just having a sister moment, fighting over songs. <laughs> There's two possibilities. <laughs> I say we do it because you've done nothing but abuse me all night. <laughs> Marty's saying that basically we should listen to him for a change. Yes. yes. Ah. I hope so. I think so. They're, they're picking on me now, and um, I haven't sang this song in a very, very, very long time. But this is Marty's favourite, and we, we've been really mean to him, so um, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> he has years worth to get back at us now. Um, so yeah, we're going to try this one. Sheila's going to try this one. Um, and it's actually, it's a lovely air to this song. It's a very common air. It's called Easter Snow. And it's a, it's a big piping tune, a big piping air, but there's actually words to it. It's beautiful air, it's a heartbreaking air, but it's actually quite a happy song. It's just about uh, a, a man who's walking down the road and he sees this woman and uh, he thinks she looks lovely. So um, he says, will you marry me? Um, because that's how quick that can happen. And uh, she says, well, if you ask my parents, then okay. Um, Marty, are you taking notes here? That's, that's how it can happen. Uh, will you marry me? And if you ask my parents, <laughs> then okay. And so he asks the parents, and it's a done deal. That's it. So it's actually it's a very very sad sounding song, but it's actually very happy. So if if anybody cries, then it's actually happy. It's okay and the happy tears. So this is Easter snow.
He's great, isn't he? Marty Barry. Good man, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the last time I heard that song was, um, gosh, probably about a good year and a half ago now. And um, it was actually my Hindu or bachelorette, as you call it here. <laughs> Sheila sang it standing on a table, <laughs> doing like impressive dance moves. <laughs> and um, the, the stories piece weren't supposed sorry. to be told. <laughs> the piece de la resistance was that I had two surprises arrive at the party. And it was these two. <laughs> Not as strippers. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, we Not did. <laughs> <laughs> they did pitch that idea. <laughs> Could we be the strippers? <laughs> and we said, no, it's okay. We're, that's not the kind of party we're having. So then they came up with the next idea. Let's dress up as women. <laughs> so they came with wigs. And Cahill wore my heels. And Marty wore Anna's uh, underwear. <laughs> and... <laughs> She's, she is not happy. She's <laughs> adding miles. Oh, Cal did actually. Cal did. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Cal. Uh, yes, anyway, we had a great night, and that was that song, and it wasn't it lovely. So um, we just noticed the clock, funnily enough, and a story that we shouldn't be telling, um, and everyone should be in bed. So we'll do one more set here. Um, and the, the first is a, a song that we learned from our mother, um, but she only had little bits of it. It was a, a tape she had of Dolores Keane with the Dannon singing a song called 18 Years Old. But that's not really a recording you can get your hands on very easily now. So um, we just heard this same line over and over. And it was, I was 40 before I wed. Over and over and over again. Um, I don't know if that was subliminal messaging or if it was that was the only line that she could remember. But uh, that's the only line we heard, and it's working for myself and Sheila so far. <laughs> um, but it's a lovely song, 18 years old. Um, and uh, yeah, we finally got the rest of the words, so we won't just sing one line over and over again. Um, and then we're going to go into our favourite reel, well, my favourite reel anyway, um, and it's called Farewell to Erin. And uh, we love this one, so we'll give these a wee try. But before we finish off, we just want to say a massive thank you to John and his very generous and lovely family for having us here. Fantastic people. We're very, very lucky. Um, we get to do tours like this quite often. Not too often, but quite often. And uh, one of the things we love the most is meeting very passionate people and very generous uh, with their time and with their kindness. So thank you so much, John, and to your lovely family as well. So uh, we really, really appreciate this. Um, this has just been a really gorgeous night for us. It's a lovely wee break in the tour. Um, I don't think we're going to leave. I no. think you're going to be stuck with yeah. us now. <laughs> yeah. I really like the room I'm in. <laughs> this is great. So uh, thank you very much, John, and, and all of your family. Really, really kind. And thank you to you all for coming out and uh, weathering the heat. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, so yes, we'll give these a wee try and uh, thanks again. We hope to see you again another time, hopefully. Um, so thanks very much. Hope you enjoy these.
you so much, guys. See, when people say we don't know what we're playing, we genuinely didn't put anything together. <laughs> I thought we overplayed. I was feeling really sorry for anyone who has work tomorrow. <laughs> or the neighbours, if they're not here. <laughs> Uh, we'll probably finish off with a, um, a tune that we play a lot in Donegal. It's called a Highland. Um, so we'll start off with a Highland called the Ross's Highland. And we think Donegal, well, we think Ireland's the best country in the world. Donegal is the best county in Ireland. But the best area in Donegal is the Ross's. So we're getting zoned right in here. Cahill probably wouldn't agree with us, but this tune's from where our family's from, the three of us. So we have rival communities, <laughs> rival parishes. Just before we finish those well, um, definitely make sure to catch out, scare, catch up with them, um, Scary Vor and um, Hermitage Green as well. Such an amazing lineup. Um, Marty's really pally with one of the lads from Hermitage Green. So. I cannot believe they're playing on this porch. Like they sell out like stadiums nearly in Ireland. Like seriously, yeah, proper castles. Yeah, and like their gigs sell out in like. I was there three times. <laughs> they sell out so quick. Like honestly, they're huge. So definitely check them out. And Scary Vore are huge in Scotland as well. So um, don't miss them. Um, so we'll start with the Ross's Highland and then into th some reels after that. And thanks again so much. Honestly, we, we feel at home here. So <laughs> we love you. Can we have another round of applause for Miles as well, who did such a great version of Garrett Barry's jig. Go on, Miles. <laughs> we'll be watching him here someday, I'm sure. <laughs>